in your hole! Hey guys, this is Early1981 and welcome back to the Golf Club 2. Today we are going to be playing and reviewing Silent Bells Golf Club by T Bomber, who is a designer whose uh, courses has featured on the channel previously. So as you can see, it is a par 72. Fairways are firm, greens are firm, green speed is medium. We do have four tee options. We are going to be playing off the blue tees, which are playing 7,047 yards. And as always, guys, for the camera flyby purposes, pin selection number one. I do hope everyone is well and is enjoying their Sunday afternoon. Um, I just jumped on to play this after watching England v Panama. Um, England look pretty good but um, I don't think any of the English can um, afford to get carried away yet due to how poor Panama were I think they were that poor even Scotland could beat them so um, I did pick up this course and um, just by browsing through HP Studios forums and noticed that T-Bomber who uh, designed a new course so hole one is a par four playing 342 yards and it is a, par a stroke index 15 par four now the big question here guys is can we drive this? That's what everyone's going to want to know and Muggins here, if I have a slight sniff that I think I can do it, I probably will take it on. Very mild wind conditions here, 2 mile per hour winds, Ooh, let's see, so it is downhill, that's the only pleasing thing, 37 feet. So I'm going to say it's play. Yeah, I think we can kick on to the green here just guys. We should just avoid these rocks. We're not going to hold up on the green with the firm greens, but we're going to take it on. That, was that is a good strike there, guys. So we're really hoping... Yeah, we're comfortably going to be on this, but we're not going to have the easiest of putts for the birdie here. But there you go, guys. With a similar wins to me, you can... Um, hit the green in two here. Whoa, uh, yeah, you hit the green and then so I'm going to be left with 38 foot nice. putt, one foot up. The greens are 144. Why? I'm not a fan of the slow greens. But um, yeah, guys, I'm going to. You're probably going to notice that I'm going to be more um, precise with my putts here. Um, I will explain that in a minute. So this one's going to turn to the right uphill. I'm not sure about the pace of this one. We will find out about the greens here. 144, I've not played these in a long time. So we have gave that a really good strike. That's just going to drift off to the right. But um, I did uh, come across a, like a kind of tutorial video from North 47 He makes some really good points in that video, guys. And it's more about pattern tips and gameplay tips. So go and check it out. And um, we do manage to drain the, the par putt there. Although I did push that putt right. So hopefully, uh, I've certainly picked up a few things on the pattern, so hopefully it's going to improve my pattern. But check out North47's uh, YouTube channel, guys, and give that video um, a like and a watch. So hole two is a par five, playing 556 yards, stroke index 17. Beautiful uh, water feature in the little uh, lake there. This is a really, really nice looking course here. and Really nice flower bed there to the right hand side as well. Really colourful. So, green, uh, the green, the fairway is slightly uphill. Just going to opt to hit the, the three wood here guys. Just in case we get a, an awkward bounce off this fairway. Going to try and eliminate the, the bunker here. Looks like we're just going to hold on to the upper part of the fairway there, guys. And we have played that well. Could have easily hit driver there, guys. But I wasn't sure how much of a kick we were going to get off the, the fairway there. So 264 yards. So we're going to fully loft this up. This is either going in the bunker or we're just going to make it over the fair the the bunker and onto the green and no more we are going to take it on fully lofted for the wood really re relying on this four mile per hour wind to hold me up as well it's another good strike i don't think this has got the legs what well, might oh no so we are going to be playing our next shot from the bunker there guys very tricky approach shot there to be fair so 17 yards it's going to be the 25 yard flop shot 
see if we can just get this close. Really pushed that right. Why? Wow, look how far right I pushed that. Not bad for a guy who's meant to be using a modded controller, guys. Eh? Geez, oh, I don't think a modded controller would let you go far right as that. So I do have a birdie opportunity here. 14 feet downhill. This one's just going to be right edge, I do guess. Hopefully it turns both ways for me like it's claiming it does. And that is a fantastic putt there, guys. And we do pick up the birdie. So back to back birdies to start us off here, really good start, hole 3 is a par 3, playing 177 yards, stroke index 7, but this is a beautiful looking course guys, um, T-Bomber goes on to say that this is a revamped course, um, this was a course he designed on the golf club 1, it's the second course he ever made, um, he says it wasn't built well but he's came in and made huge changes, did say he had some decent holes. He's made it more playable. So I'm going to opt for the 7 iron here, guys. This were a lot of yardage calculations here in this course, I do believe, from what I've heard. 2 mile per hour wind. It's going to take us to the left. I think, yeah, I'm going to have to come down to the 8 iron, actually, guys. Yeah, so it's going to be the 8 iron. And I'm hoping to just bounce this on from the, the light rough here onto the green. Hopefully my yard is calculations is going to be bang on here. Good strike. I am relying on a favourable bounce from this uh, light rough. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, we've played that really, really well, guys. So basically, this is a revamped um, addition of his second ever course that he built on the Golf Club 1, guys. So once again, we're going to get down. I, I do apologise. I'm not the, the greatest with the, the camera angles, guys. The, the analog sticks is really sensitive in this controller. So we do have a 7-foot putt. slightly down. I'm just going right edge. I'm sure this is breaking more to the left. I'm sure... Yeah, definitely there's two breaks here. Oh, it turned more. It turned more than what I allowed for. And as you can see there, guys, yeah, I only showed me as one break in line. But due to North's uh, video, guys, I have picked up a fair bit there. So hopefully it can improve my putting. So disappointed to miss out on the birdie there. But we are going to pick up a solid par and stay at two under. Hole four is a par four. Playing 469 yards, stroke index three. But early thoughts of this course, guys, so far are really, really good. Oh, look at the slopes and the brakes in this fairway, though. Once again, water's involved. The second shot's going to be across the water, and that's a very, very tough front part of the green that we've got to navigate over there. Certainly don't want to be too far left of the flag as well. So once again, I don't think driver is a fright club. I'm just going to try and stay up in this left part of the fairway here and avoid sloping my ball rolling down towards the right hand side which will give us a severe slope to play from so fully lofted referee wood once again really good strike it's looking good. I don't think I've gave that enough that wind didn't take me around as much oh sit down ball oh I think we're going to trickle oh wow no we've just held on the edge but we're going to be on a severe slope which we that was the whole point of trying to hold to the left side of the fairway there. So it's a bit of a fail there. So 198 yards. Not much in the green there. So this slope will take us to the right. Hopefully the wind's going to counteract it a slight bit as well. Let's see if we can get this running up towards the flag. Good execution. This, one's a beauty. this could be really, really good if it sits down for me. Sit down. Got to be happy with that approach shot there, guys. Taking into consideration the slopes. We're probably going to be left with about a 20 to 22 foot putt for birdie. 21 foot. It is up two inches. But these greens, 144, I'm never not normally a fan of these. I do prefer the faster greens. This one is definitely breaking to the left hand side here. You can clearly see that. I won't be getting down on every putt, guys. It's just ones that I do feel. Oh, that's in. Oh, it just turned a wee bit more than I anticipated the last couple of feet. 
But, um, yeah, definitely check out uh, NOR47's latest video, guys. Once again, I'm really pushing that to the right-hand side with the putter. Really need to take care of that a wee bit more. So we're going to stay two under through four holes. Hole number five is a par four, playing 412 yards, stroke index 11. But yeah, what about Harry Kane, guys? Uh, really good player. Um, he wasn't playing against much. I mean, the Panama defending was just criminal at times, embarrassing how poor they are. Um, but you can only play what's in front of you. And uh, I do take my hats off to England. Um, but it would be interesting to see. They've had two really easy games, um, Tunisia and Panama. Um, you would expect any England team to beat them comfortably. They did struggle against Tunisia despite playing some good stuff. Just looking to hit the left-hand side of the fairway here, guys. I'll put a fast on that. It's looking good. This should be okay. Wanted to avoid the big kick to the, to the right-hand side, which we have avoided. And we've really opened up the green now. But yeah, Harry Kane's on fire. That makes him the top goal scorer at the World Cup so far with five goals. Really talented uh, goal scorer, guys. But I think England will uh, get beat by Belgium. I think Belgium have got too much and they will qualify in second place. So we have uh, lofted up slightly here on the sandwich. That should bounce and then it should spin back. And we've played that beautifully there, guys. Really good yardage control there. And that's going to give us a three-foot, two-foot putt for birdie. It's going to move us to three under par. So, so far, so good. Just one little uh, hiccup on um, hole number three where we missed the birdie. Really good birdie opportunity, but we are swinging well. Hole number six, guys, is a par four. Stroke index five, playing 471 yards. And those of you who are following the Four Nations will be aware that um, Kafa lost 1991 and Enforcer 3891 both finished 88 under. I was one shot behind at seven under. Once again, my pattern let me down. I had two bogeys that I was really gad about. But um, I, I was happy with my gameplay. That two guys played really, really well. So they're going to have to have a playoff. Um, I'll let them announce it more on their channel. So stay, stay um, alert, stay focused for that, guys. It should be epic. Oh, I've pushed that right. Why? I think I could be... Oh, no, we're going to be okay here. There's plenty of fair way to work with. But once again, that's two severe push rights I've had there, guys. So it just shows you. So 180 yards, up 27 feet. So I'm going to say that's play. Let's say it's playing one, 188. Just going to take a touch off of this here. I'm just looking for this to land at the front of the green, guys, and maybe hit that slope. And it's going to take a bit of the momentum out of the ball here. It's a tough yardage because I'm so far in between. Oh, that's over hit. No, nah, it's going to be too long. It's going to be too long. I was just hoping to hit the front bit of the green where that little slope was and it'd kill the ball. So we have trickled off the green. We're going to be left with a chip shot. Probably a nasty chip shot. Oh, no, it's not too bad. Ten yards. We're going to fully loft this up and go right at the pin here. Right at the pin. Expected that to be worse than what it was. Ah, pushed it right again. Jeez, oh, but... Um, that was never online there, guys. So it's just going to be a little tap in par putt, which we do manage to convert, and we're going to stay it for the under. But so far, guys, really, really enjoying this course. I really am. Um, I do think T Bomber has released some fantastic courses that I've played. But wow, what a beautiful looking hole this is. So hole seven is par four, 396 yards, stroke index 13. We're going to have a severe... Um, drop down in distance. Once again, water involved on the right-hand side. Little island green. This is beautiful, guys. This is a beautiful looking hole. This is a course I never came across on the Golf Club 1. Um, I think I only played that game for about six months. So, huge drop in elevation. We're probably going to be left with a, a short um, approach shot. Very good tee shot there. This should roll to the right. It has done. And this could be probably looking about 90, 90 yards here of my calculations, right? Maybe less. 
77 yards. So it is down 10 feet. Oh, it's going to be a pitch shot. I'm going to have to loft this up. I just want this to land right at the front edge of the green. Right on the, the, the fringe of the green. We're looking to land this here, guys. Good execution. Yeah, we, oh, we hit the flag stick. We played that really, really well. And that is going to set us up for another birdie. Nothing in this. But what a beautiful looking hole that is, guys. But so far, really enjoying this course. Really, really enjoying it. So we do manage to move to four under. We have played a few really difficult courses recently on the channel. Which I do, I really enjoy playing difficult courses, guys. Um, it certainly puts my my game to the test. So hole eight is another par three. Stroke index nine playing 193 yards. Whoa, this is a brutal green here, guys. Really going to have to... Just going to try and use that slope that's behind the green to to come get the ball to come back. 192, yeah. Five iron is going to be bang on here, guys, for me with the firm greens. With a slight wind advantage. It's another really good strike. This, one's looking good. this could be really good. This could be really, really good. It should come back slightly. No, very reluctant to come back, so I do imagine we're going to have a downhill putt. 13 foot down 2 inches, this is a nasty, nasty looking putt here guys. Oh, there's a first disconnection. So once again, I'm going to give this more care, give it a bit more attention. So it's going to really swing heavy, it's going to break heavy at the first two, two lines. And the fact that it's downhill, don't want to play this too firm. Turn, turn. Oh, it didn't turn as much as I, I expected it to. But we do manage to convert the, the simple putt for the par, guys. So we're going along fairly nicely here. Could have been a couple of shots better, but playing well. Hole number nine is a par five, playing 573 yards and according to stroke index, which is one, this is playing the most difficult hole on the course. So looks like it's going to be a dog leg right. Once again, water is involved here. Oh, this is going to be an interesting tee shot, I do believe. Wow. I did clock a little uh, hilly area on the right hand side. I'd be surprised if we could hit driver here. Pin position is off center to the right hand side. Oh, that is risky, guys. I don't think I can hit. Do we have a better option here? Hmm. Let's have a look at this little mind. Driver will be too long there. There's nowhere else for us to go here. I do feel that's a risk. So we're going to come down to the six wood. Just going to try and land on his mind here and leave us the free wood into the green. Good strike again. And hopefully this nestles up nicely on this little mound part here. Yeah, we've played that well. I do believe driver's just too much club there, guys. Especially on the downhill slope if we were to take on the drive on the left-hand side. So we're not hitting this um, green in two. So this is going to be a layup shot. It's going to be a tricky fairway to hit here. I'm confident we'll get over the bunker. So going to fully loft this up. Oh, why I've pulled that to the left. I don't think we're going to get a favorable bounce here. No, we're not. Oh, and we're going to be in the heavy rough here. Wow. So we've had two pushes to the right. I pull to the left, and I'm now left with a tricky shot here. 62 yards at 14 feet. Heavy rough. I think the best option here is to play the gap wedge. Eh, the lob wedge, sorry. Pardon me. That is a brutal looking green. Look at the slopes. So we are lofting this up, guys, because this will not bite straight away coming out the heavy rough. This will roll out. It looked, the green looked to, like it was breaking both ways from this angle. It was a good solid strike. This should bounce on fairly well. Can we catch the slope? We have caught the slope, but 
due to the severe breaks in the green there. Oh, why? That's going to be off the... I think we're actually off the green here. All right, 13 foot no, we're not. We're still on the green, so we are going to have a 13-foot putt. It's breaking to the left. I do apologise, guys. I'm not the best with the, the camera angles. So this is going to turn to the left. Just going to play this dead weight. It is up five inches, and hopefully it turns enough for me. Tricky birdie putt, this. That should turn big here. It does. So we do manage to pick up the birdie there, guys, after a poor second layup shot. We did uh, pull it to the left. But five under through the, the front nine, guys. Got to be happy with that. So hole 10 is a par 4 playing 323 yards, stroke index 16. The current course record is uh, 8 under, I do believe. We have managed to break the course record on the past couple of the courses we've reviewed. So let's see if we can keep that going. So hole 10 is a par 4, short par 4, 323 yards, stroke index 16. Right. I do believe we can easily kick onto the green here, but we need to avoid this bunker. And I do think we're going to kick right. I feel this fairway slope into the right, and then the green looks like it's going to break to the left. So just fully lofting this driver up here, guys, to see if we can get this sitting down. I have put a fast on that, but it shouldn't affect me too much. So we're expecting this to kick right here slightly. It has done. We are going to be on the green, I do feel. Is that going to turn back and come back towards the pin? No, it's not. So we are going to have an eagle opportunity here, guys. A 16-foot putt. Downhill, one inch. This is turning quite severe to the left. Yeah, no phantom breaks or nothing here or, or silly lines that's not showing. So we really don't need to get over it too much. This one's all in the weight. Need that to turn. Come on, ball turn. It's in. Oh, why? Wow, it's another putt we just miss out on. But we are going to secure the birdie, guys. And we do manage to get to six under par through ten. So, so far, so well. Course record is certainly there to be beat now. Got plenty of holes to play. Hole 11 is a par four. Stroke index eight, playing 429 yards. I do hope you guys like my new introduction. I know it's a bit cheesy. Um... But I do feel we need one. It's nowhere near as good professional as Tim's. But, um, oh, why, look at this, guys. Beautiful looking hole again. Oh, severe green as pin placement there. Lots of red lines in that green. So it's gave us a... I think we can drive this little creek, you know. This is a beautiful looking uh, course, this, guys. My only concern here is that we've run onto the cart path for the little bridge little path. Hopefully we're going to be short of that. It's another good strike. Once again, hitting the ball well. And that has kicked on nicely. And that should nestle up really, really nice. And we're probably going to look at a gap wedge here, guys, I would imagine. Or a lob wedge. Okay, so we have about yeah, it is going to be the gap wedge. 114 yards. Favourable wind. So just going to loft it up a touch. This ball will bounce... A good three or four yards and then should sit down immediately. Don't seem to get much spin with the gap wedge. So good strike again. This should be all over this like a rash. Yeah, that should bounce and then sit down instantly. It has done. So played that really, really well. Probably looking about five to six foot putt. Seven foot putt for birdie. I'm going to give this a bit of uh, attention again, guys. Yeah, it's certainly breaking to the right. Just going to play this with a good weight into the centre of the cup. It did turn nicely for us, and we do manage to pick up a birdie. So we are now 7 under par. So going along really nice, guys. We are one shot off the current course record. So hole 12 is a par 3, playing 188 yards, stroke index 4. Ooh... I do believe I'm going to be way in between clubs here. Once again, tough looking pin location. Tough green if you're left if you're left of that green. That could be brutal. So 173. I don't think this is going to be enough. We're just playing it straight. I am going to take 
a touch aloft off the seven iron guys and we're just looking to bounce this on from the rough here onto the green so we've taken a good bit off of this the wind should take us round oh I've pushed it damn that's not hitting the green no that's going to come all the way back once again guys poor poor swing but once again, I'll probably still get accused of using a modded controller or a cheat, whatever it is. These people are absolutely delusional. And uh, it, it's getting tiresome now, guys, to be honest. So I'm going to have to flop this 18 yards up 20 feet. Just going to take a bit off of this 25-yard one, guys. This should come out hot. Put a fast on that, but that should be good. Oh, wow. We did hit the flagstick there. Oh, bye bye ball. Ah, oh, we could be dropping the first shot of the round here, guys. So we didn't really get a break there hitting that flagstick. I think if I avoided the flagstick, that would have been a lot closer. So we do have a 20 foot putt up one foot. Breaking both ways. Okay, I'm just gonna just gonna favour the right hand side of the cup here, guys, because I do believe it's breaking more to the left at the start, and it should break back towards the cup. Turn, turn. Oh, that's a great putt there, guys. Wow. So putting so far has been quite good today. I do apologise if the video is going to take slightly longer. But I do believe for my game to improve and my putting does let me down, the rest of my game is really good, I'm happy with it. But I do need to take more time and care with my putting. So I do apologise if the video goes on an extra 4 or 5 minutes due to this. So hole 13 is a par 4, stroke index 6, playing 418 yards. Oh wow. This I, I tell you what guys, I love some of the, the designs of the holes here. I mean... This is really, really cool. Oh, look at this three-level green, three-tier green. Wow. This is a fantastic hole, this one here, guys. 100 and... Let's give me a five iron here. So I'm sure we can hit the left-hand side of it. Oh, look at this, like, little um, ruin here. Looks like it used to be a church or a bell tower or something. So, yeah, we can definitely hit the driver here. That is awesome. Let's have a quick look at this. I'm not the best with the camera. Guys, I do apologise, but yeah, it certainly looks like an old church or a bell tower, it's a spire there. So I'm going to rely on the wind to take me round to the left-hand side of this fairway here and just hold on to it. We certainly don't want to, to go down the right-hand side here, so we should have enough to work with here. Good strike this time, no pushes or pulls. That wind's not moving me though. How's my luck? Oh, I've got an... Oh, it's a way. It's a way. So why we should have maybe if, uh, not relied so much on the wind there. Fortunate not to hit the bunker, but we are probably going to be in the, the light rough here. So 85 yards. Let's take this off. This should bounce. I think this will kick hard right here. This is going to kick hard right. And hopefully we can get it close to the pin. But I do think where we're looking to land this, it's going to kick hard right. So Sam Wedge lofted up due to the elevation change. It is up 40 feet. 43 feet. Put a fast in that. That will affect the shot. That could come up short. A wee bit, yeah, it has. There's a huge kick right. Sit. Ah, that fast did affect that shot, guys. That could have been a bit better. So we're going to have a tricky par putt here, 11 foot down, 2 inches, turning to the left. Tricky putt this. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, so we are going to get our first bogey off the right. Oh no. Is it? Oh, why? No, we did manage par there, guys. That was a birdie putt we missed. I do apologise. So we're going to remain at 7 under par here. Hole 14 is a par 3, playing 152 yards, stroke index 10. So we're still one shot off this course record, guys. It would be nice to get another course record here. Oh, once again, very brutal pin position. Very tough greens here. 
So 157 up. Oh, 38 feet. It's definitely going to be the 7 iron, guys. Do you feel I need to loft this up a touch and rely on the wind? Look at the break here in the green. I just want this to land. This is a tough green. Okay. Just going to touch this up here a bit, guys. I just want this left of the flag. And it should... This should die immediately if I hit the right part. Hit this slope. The ball should die instantly. It's another good strike. Sit down. There we go. We've played that well there, guys. We're probably looking about an 8-foot putt for birdie here. An 11 foot putt for birdie, there's not much in this one, really really happy with that by the way. I do believe that is going to turn to the left and back to the right. So I'm just putting this right at the flag because this is going to turn slightly to the left off this line which it has and back to the right it has done. So once again we have managed to drill another birdie putt into the center of the cup and we do get to eight under par which is matching the current course record let's see if we can go on to beat that oh wow so hole 15 is a par 5 stroke index 18 which means it's the easiest hole on the course and it is playing a whopping 608 yards but this is way the fairway is way below us so we should be looking to drive oh, about 330 340 yards here water isn't playing the left hand side Wow, I'm really enjoying this course, guys. Honestly, I really, really am. This is the most fun I've had in the course in the past few rounds. So fairway looks like it's fairly flat. Should just roll forward here. Once again, really good strike. Hopefully we can get good yardage here and eliminate this long par 5. Oh yeah, we're going to get a monster drive here. That's went further than I expected. Wow, we managed to nail that 357 yards there, guys. So, we are going to be able to hit this at the two. I'm going to fully loft this three wood up here. I fully expect this to still be a bit long here, but hopefully we will have an eagle opportunity. Yeah, we're going to be way long. I think that's actually going to kick off the green here. I think we're just in the, the fringe. But we're going to have a nasty, yeah, that's a nasty chip shot here. 14 yards down one foot. So fully lofting this up. I don't want to play this too firm. It is going to turn to the right. Not severely, but we are going to allow for the break to the right. Hopefully we can just get this close to give ourselves... Oh, wow. That kicked, that kicked firmer to the right and I allowed it for. But the yardage was good. We're probably going to have about an 8-foot putt for birdie. 9-foot putt for birdie. Nothing much in this, but we will get down and just make sure again. Yeah, it's turning to the right. Definitely going to break to the right. Three lines breaking to the right. Not much in this one, so just left centre the cup and we're going to play this with good pace play it firm hopefully it holds its line it has done so we do get to nine under par guys and we are the current new course record holder if we can finish at nine under but i'm hoping to, to go a few more birdies yet the way i'm playing so hole 16 is a par four stroke index two playing 469 yards going to be a slight dog leg right Oh, why? Once again, this is going to be a tricky fairway to hit, I do believe. I do believe we're going to have to play a bit of a fade shot here to, to find the fairway. Once again, don't want to be short of the flag, but once again, very challenging green. So, three wood. No, we can definitely hit driver here. I think I'm going to have to go left of this tree. Yeah, we can't go right of this tree. So, left of this tree. Okay, I said a fade, but we're probably with this wind, we're going to have to play a bit of a draw here and just hope that this ball. Oh, that's going a wee bit more left. I've played too much draw there. Unless I get a bounce here. No. So we're going to be. Oh, this is going to be a tricky shot. 
Light rough, 179 yards up 55 feet. Oh, I think it's going to have to be the four hybrid. I think the four hybrid could be the bang on club here, guys, if we can execute this right. It's going to kick to the right off the slope and the wind's also going to bring us round. Good strike. Oh, this should be nice. This could be really, really nice. Come on, sit down for me. Wow. That is a great shot from there, guys, and that is going to give us another birdie opportunity, I do believe. Is this going to keep coming back towards the flag? No, it's checked up. Probably an 18-foot putt. 13-foot putt, so we are closer than I imagined. This one's breaking to the left. It is uphill, which is always a pleasing thing. It gives us a wee bit more margin for error. So I can play this a bit firmer. Get in, get in. Oh, just turned a wee bit more than what I allowed it for. So we are going to pick up a par here, hopefully. A little three foot putt for par save. It's going to keep us at nine under. But wow, I've had so much fun here, guys. Just a few of the, the greens are a bit brutal, which I would class myself as a, an above average player. Not a great player, but above average. But I think the average golfer would not enjoy this course as much as me due to some of the, the greens. So hole 17 is a par 5, playing 559 yards, stroke index 14. Once again, slight dog leg right. But I really like the layout of this course, guys. I really like how it looks. And I do think I have played fairly well here. I think we've actually made this course look slightly more easier and what it is, like I say, some good players have played this, and the course record is 8 under. So I'm just fully lofting up the driver here, guys. This looks like the, the fairway is going to slope off to the right. It's another good strike. And we've played that really, really well here. So I do believe with a full, that should mean I can now hit, attack this with my free with if my yeah, that's why I fully lofted up the driver there, guys. I wanted that to stop as quick as it could. Right, I'm going to fully loft this up. Hopefully this 3 mile per hour wind is going to hold us up and we've, we will have enough club to get over this bunker. Yeah, this is, the, this is the percentage shot, guys. Hopefully we can give ourselves an eagle opportunity here. It's another good strike. The wind is holding me up here, so this should hold the green. Sit down. And we've played that really, really well there, guys. Really happy with the outcome of that, and we are going to have an eagle opportunity here. So a 15-foot putt for eagle. It's going to break. It is breaking both ways. The only issue here is it's down three inches. So this is turning. I'm going to go left edge here and hope it turns back towards the cup. Nasty putt this. Ooh, ooh, I thought that was going to turn just towards the last foot or so. I thought it was going to turn into the cup, but we've just missed the eagle, guys. But we are going to be left with a birdie, which we convert. And we do manage to get to 10 under par here. So going along nicely here, guys. We've broke the course record so far by two shots. So the final hole of this really nice course, guys, is a hole 18, obviously. Short par 4, playing 311 yards, and stroke index 12. Oh, I tell you what. You should be able to uh, leave a pitch or a flop shot here. Just need to avoid this bunker. But it's a, once again, guys, brutal pin position. Brutal greens. The slopes on some of these greens... Just looking to, to be short of this bunker. Another good strike. Yeah, that's going to be fine because we fully lofted this driver up here, guys. And that's just going to die a death going up this uphill slope. So 289 yards. So it should be a flop shot, I would imagine. 27 yards. 25. Oh, don't want to be too short. That ball will spin all the way back. So just going to check this up a touch. And hope that we don't get too much backspin here. Executed that well. That should bounce. Oh, it's in. 
We've put that in for the eagle. Wow, what a shot that was. A bit of uh, fortune there. Tell you what, guys, for me, that is a four star. I do think there's some dodgy pin locations and some dodgy greens that you don't get rewarded, but a definite four star. I've had a great time playing this course. I'll be favourite in that, so congratulations to T-Bomber. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I will see you on the next one. Take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.